Today on Becca's Bakery, I will be adapting a vintage early 20th century recipe from a cookbook to make lamb steak as they would have done in a pioneer kitchen. We will be making chops and cheesy mashed potatoes with gravy. So this is not a kosher recipe. You will be needing 4 chops. I use lamb but beef is more preferable as lamb steak is quite tough unless uh, meat, unless underdone. You can pound the chops with a meat hammer and that will tenderize it. The equipment you will be needing in this recipe is the simplest. A gas stove, um, a skillet, a cup, a fork, a potato masher and so forth. You will be using a stove, probably a gas stove, but a wooden Amish stove would be more authentic. The ingredients in this recipe include some fat and oil for frying, salt, pepper, fresh or dried herbs like rosemary, herb butter, um, yogurt, a little bit of flour and milk for gravy, a couple of potatoes and some cheese sauce. The recipe for the cheese sauce is included in the description box. Most pioneer cooks cooked without a recipe, using what they had on hand, but they did have basic techniques down pat and knew how to make much with little. We'll begin with washing and scouring your potatoes, preserving the skin for nourishment. Remove all eyes and green bits. Bring a pot of water to boil on the stovetop and drop in the potatoes, boiling them until soft. When the potatoes are done, remove them from the water and mash them one at a time. Season the potatoes with herbs, cheese sauce, some kefir or yogurt for creaminess. Now your mashed potatoes are ready. You may set them aside and keep them warm and we shall continue cooking the lamb chops. Wash the lamb chops well and prepare paper towels and newspaper to dry them on. Trim away the fat from the lamb. Trim away the fat from the lamb. Trim away the fat from the lamb. Most away the fat from the lamb. Most pioneers would have reserved them the fat for rendering, as we shall do here. Then heat the skillet with oil. Most pioneers did not pour oil on the skillet, but would render a bit of fat, salt, pork for oil. You want to cook the chops, frying them on each side just before serving. So prepare a warm platter to keep them warm on. Stir the lamb chop well on both sides to desire it done with. Then melt some herb butter on the lamb chop, sprinkle some salt and pepper and make sure the lamb chops are well seasoned. So you will only season them after frying. To make gravy out of all the remains of the the lamb in the pan with a tablespoon of flour and half a cup of milk until no lumps remain. Pour the mixture into the hot and empty pan, saucepan or skillet, stirring well. Pour the gravy into a jug after it has come to a boil and serve it with the mashed potatoes. Here you can see the lamb chops were served for dinner with some warm buns and the cheese mashed potatoes with gravy.